Welcome back. This video will provide you with a short overview on level data assets. I won't go into too much detail on the topic since a more comprehensive video already exists. Have a look in the description for that. The level data assets are used wherever a level needs to be loaded since they are the only source for information on a level outside the level itself. One of the most prominent applications of the level data asset is in the map info which belongs to the basic configuration of each level. Another is in the panel-based menu. Here, the level data asset enables the panel to load its corresponding level. As you can see, the level data asset is very central, so let's have a closer look. First, let's create an instance of the level PDA. Now we open it up and here we are. As you can see, we have three categories of variables. Let's start with the streaming level category. Here you have the world map and maps to load array. Just enter the full file name of the world map under world map and create an entry in the array below for each map you want to load at the start of the level. Again, enter the full file name of the map or maps. If you are a bit hazy on the system of world map and maps we use in the framework, have a look at the video below to refresh your memory. Now let's look at the pawn section. Here enter the default pawn you want to use in the level for each environment. Finally, let's look at the transition section. To remind you, the transition basically determines what the player sees where the level is loaded. It's governed by its own class called BP Transition. The core provides a default class, which is the one we will use here. Above the transition class is the minimal transition time. This is the minimal time the transition is shown before progressing to the level. If you want to progress to the level as soon as it is loaded, enter zero as transition time. The remaining variables define the appearance of the transition. The fallback color is only shown if no sky sphere is specified or the specified sky sphere has not been found. Let's enter a sky sphere now. Later I will give you a glimpse on how the fallback color looks. Title and subtitle determine which text is shown by the transition. Let's have a look at our transition. How do you like it? Lastly, let's see how a fallback color looks instead of a sky sphere. Here we go. Well, I hope now you have a basic understanding on how the level data asset works. Please remember that you need an individual level PDA instance for each level you want to load. For more, please have a look on our previous video on transitions and loading in the links below. That's all I've got for today. Bye bye and see you in the next video.